a very good morning to one and all i sabha shrat assistant professor in department of electronics and communication engineering i am the college of greater noida is here to present my view on the topic of operational amplifier and its application so before starting this topic firstly we have to clear what is the meaning of word operational amplifier as the name indicate it's have the two terms operational plus amplifier the term operational comes from the mathematical operations like this circuit is used to perform the mathematical operations like addition subtraction addition division integration logarithm and etc the word amplification comes if the input value is less then it is used to amplify or boost up the input signal so if we are going to discuss about the operational amplifier that is shown in the symbol this symbol have the two input terminals one first one is inverting input second one is the non inverting input two power supply that is represented by the here by plus v and minus v and the one output terminal that is represented by the pin number 6 so what is this the significance of these four terms firstly i'm going to discuss about the pin number 7 and 4 this is the dual power supply pins dual power supply indicate They, they they are going to apply the two power supply at same time but having the equal magnitude but opposite polarity means if we are applying the plus 12 volt power supply then on the seven number pin we have the plus 12 volt and the four number pin we have the minus 4 volt fine so let's uh, one thing more that is inverting input and non inverting input. what is the meaning of this in inverting and non inverting terminal that will be cleared by the next one ye this is the pin out diagram of operational amplifier ic the ic term indicate integrated circuit what is the meaning of word integrated circuit it is the collection of multiple number of components that components will be the vjt like transistors resistance capacitance power supply field effect transistor and so on it is the pin out diagram of ic741 that is the 8 pin ic the second and third number pin which is introduced also here it is for the input means they will be the two inputs second number one pin in display the inverting input inverting input if we are going to apply the input signal then output will be amplified but input and output have the 180 degree phase shift output will be the opposite of the input second in case of the non inverting input if we are going to apply the input at the non inverting terminal then output will be amplified but also but does not have the 180 degree shift phase shift it have only the 0 degree phase shift 0 degree phase shift indicate the input and output have same phase these are the ideal characteristics of the operational amplifier the very first one is the infinite voltage gain what is the meaning of infinite voltage gain as i already told you it is used for the amplification purpose means if we are going to apply the input voltage which has the less volt amplitude then at the output terminal we will get the boost up signal for boosting the signal we need the voltage gain so if we are going to talk about the ideal characteristics of the operational amplifier then the gain of the operational amplifier circuit should be infinite because our main aim is to amplify the signal as much as possible so the maximum value of the possibility is the infinite so in the case of the ideality the gain of the operational amplifier should be infinite second one is the infinite input impedance infinite input and input impedance indicate there are the two terminals second and third number pin if we are going to discuss the infinite input impedance means between second and third number pin they will be the input impedance ri equal to infinite if here the infinite resistance then the current which is going to inside this point will be zero so the losses due to this ic will be almost negligible is small all the input which you are going to apply at second or third number pin will completely transfer to the output point but in the case of the ideal condition only in the ideal condition when input in impedance between second and third number pin will be infinite if we are talking about the practical situation then in the case of the practical situation 
this resistance or impedance is about 10 to the power 12 ohm. It is not infinite. It is very much high. That is about 10 to the power 12 ohm. Zero output impedance. The word zero output impedance at the sixth number pin, the output resistance will be almost zero. If output resistance will be zero, then the current or voltage flowing in the output resistance path will be almost zero. Therefore, the losses at the output resistance path will be negligibly small and at total input will be transferred to the output terminal. Output losses will be almost zero. If we are talking about the practical situation that is uh, almost not zero, the current that can flow from the output terminal is around 5 to 25 milliampere. Next one is the infinite bandwidth. The term infinite bandwidth. What is the meaning of the word bandwidth? Bandwidth is the range of frequency from which our circuit can operate or our OPAM IC can operate. This operational amplifier IC can work for the DC or AC, both the type of the signal. If you are talking about the DC signal, then the frequency will be 0 hertz. And if we are talking about the AC signal, frequency will be high. So if we are talking about the ideal situation, that bandwidth should be infinite. But in case of the practical, it is not infinite. It is in the range of megahertz. Now the next is the operational amplifier is without feedback. What is the feedback? The very first question comes in our mind. What is the meaning of this word feedback? The feedback comes like if we have, this is the operational amplifier circuit. If we are going to connect the connection between the output and the input terminal, like this way. If we are going to connect the connection between output and input terminal, that will be the feedback established situation. But without, in the case of the without feedback, if we are going to discuss, then we have the two terminals, that is V minus and V plus. V minus indicate the input voltage which are, we are going to apply at the inverting terminal. V plus indicate the input voltage which we are going to apply at the positive terminal. So what will be the value of the output? Output voltage is equal to gain into V plus minus V minus. Non-inverting terminal voltage minus inverting terminal voltage that is multiplied by the gain. What is the gain? Gain is the amplification factor of this operational amplifier IC. As I already told you, in the case of the ideal situation, what will be the value of this gain? This gain value will be infinite, but practically it is not so. It is not the infinite. So uh, here, V out is equal to gain into V positive minus V negative. Now, if the gain is very high, like if the gain is, what is this? 100,000. Uh, that is a very much high value. If the gain is very high, then output will be very high. So this high output is so much high output is useless for us. So what we are going to do in the case of the infinite gain, gain comes to this point with the like in the case of the infinite gain, what we are going to like, uh, we have to reduce the value of this input voltage. So in the case of the negative feedback, what we are going we are applying to the output voltage at the inverting terminal. In this case, input voltage and the feedback of the output voltage have the 180 degree phase shift. Output will be applied at the inverting terminal. So by this way, there are the some advantage of the negative feedback. Although gain will be reduced, but uh, there are the some advantage. What are the advantages of this one? The stability will be increased. Noise effect will be reduced and the output will be have the more uh, temperature shows the more temperature stabilization so now we are going to discuss the some application that was the simple basic about the operational amplifier there are the some application of the operational amplifier what are that inverting amplifier non inverting amplifier inverting summer non inverting summer differential amplifier differentiator and integrator what is the first one that is the inverting amplifier as the name indicate, inverting amplifier, the first purpose of this circuit is used to amplify the input signal. Here is the input signal V in. We need the output voltage V out, which is much greater than the value of the V in. We are going to use the negative feedback topology. What is the negative feedback topology over here? The output is applied at the input terminal with the feedback resistance, which is represented by here the R2 resistance. What is the meaning of this word inverting? In, we are going to apply the input voltage at the inverting 
terminal at minus terminal look at here at the minus terminal we are applying the inverting voltage input voltage v input and the non inverting terminal is the ground region so if what is the meaning of the inverting amplifier inverting amplifier is used to amplify the input signal and the output signal have the positive degree phase shift as compared to the input signal so now what we have to calculate the value of this v output voltage how we will calculate let at this point if we are going to discuss the total input current total input current is i that is divided into two parts this current part i1 if i am saying it's i1 or this is the feedback current if what will be the v out v out equals to if into r2 so first we have to calculate the value of this if what is the value of this if if i will calculate the, this value of the if then i will calculate by the v out by the formula v out equals to minus if into r2 so what is the value of if as we know for the ideal operational amplifier internal resistance is infinite at this point minus or plus point the resistance is infinite if resistance is infinite the current is coming from the minus point or the plus point is almost negligible small that is zero so total current that is coming from the input supply is totally flow to the feedback resistance r2 what is the total current that is flowing from this resistance r1 voltage upon resistance what is the voltage p input at this node what is the voltage this node voltage is almost zero because it is the the gain is infinite so virtual ground concept is fulfill over here this voltage is zero then this one will be also zero so here the current will be equal to i1 current in r1 resistance is equal to v in upon r1 this i1 current is equal to the current of if now v out is equal to v out is equal to minus if into r2 just put it this value over here now i'm going to put over value so v out is equal to v in minus r2 upon r1 what is it showing what is it showing minus sign minus sign is showing over here output and input have the 180 degree phase shift what is r2 r2 is the feedback resistance what is r1 r1 is the input resistance and what is r2 upon r1 r2 upon r1 is the gain of inverting operational amplifier circuit therefore v out is equal to minus v in r2 upon r1 or we can also say v out equals to minus v in into a what is a a is equal to r2 upon r now next is the non inverting operational amplifier what is the non inverting operational amplifier non inverting operational amplifier is like it what we will do in the case of the non inverting amplifier inverting terminal will be the grounded as it is shown over here and at the non inverting terminal we are going to apply the input voltage which we will be amplified fine r2 is the feedback resistance again here is again negative feedback topology we are going to use in the case of the negative feedback topology again output voltage will be feedback at the negative terminal of the op amp r1 is the input resistance now we are going to apply the nodal analysis over here what is the input voltage zero what is at this point we'll say i am assuming this voltage is the va so 0 minus v upon r1 is equal to the current in the feedback resistance what is it 0 minus v out upon r2 again by the virtual ground concept input voltage will be equal to this point voltage what we have assumed we have assumed this voltage is the a v a fine so v in equals to v a what is v just put it over here now after putting here minus v in upon r1 is equal to minus v out upon r2 and if we are going to solve this equation then output voltage is equal to v out equals to v input 1 plus r1 upon r2 next one is the summing amplifier what is the summing amplifier as the name indicate it is used to sum up the input voltage sum up the input voltage if we have the input voltage terminal more than input voltage more than one here we are taking the two input voltage v1 and v2 that may be more than one uh, v1 v2 v3 and so on here we are just taking the two input voltage v1 and v2 for the simplicity two input resistance r1 and r2 feedback resistance rf 
it's the inverting summing amplifier so again we are applying this input voltage v1 and v2 at the inverting terminal and non inverting terminal is grounded over here therefore at this node the current coming from the r1 resistance or r1 r2 resistance will be add on and will be flowing to the rf feedback resistance therefore v1 minus the voltage at this point this voltage and this voltage will is equal it is grounded so it will be also grounded hence v1 minus 0 upon r1 plus this current will be add on v2 minus 0 upon r2 is equal to current in this feedback resistance therefore it will be equal to 0 minus v out upon rf now we are going to solve this equation v out is equal to minus rf into v1 upon r1 plus v2 upon r2 and here we have just taken the two input voltage v1 and v2 if we have the more than two input voltage then the equation will become v out equals to minus rf into v1 upon r1 plus v2 upon r2 plus v3 upon r3 and so on so n number of input voltage we can add at the inverting terminal and the what output voltage is showing output voltage is showing total output v out will be the sum of the input voltage v1 and v2 what is the next one that next one is the differencing amplifier as the name indicate it is used to produce the difference of the input signal here the two input signal b negative and b positive negative indicate inverting terminal voltage positive indicate positive terminal voltage and what should be the output output should be the difference of these two voltage v minus or v plus voltage difference so how we are going to calculate again the same concept we know that this voltage inverting terminal voltage and non inverting terminal voltage both are the equal to each other so firstly i will calculate this point voltage this point voltage is represented by here the v node v node what is the v node total voltage was the v plus and we have to calculate the voltage at this point v node voltage so we can apply here the voltage divider rule by the voltage divider rule what is saying total voltage into the resistance across which I have to calculate the voltage. Total voltage is the V positive. Resistance R2 across which I have to calculate the voltage. So V2 into R2 upon R1 plus R2. That is the node voltage. This node voltage is equal to the this voltage at this point voltage. So again the same concept. Total input current coming from the R1 resistance will be equal to the feedback current. That is flowing through the R2 resistance. So resist current V minus at this voltage, I am saying that this voltage and this voltage both are the equal. Here is the V node voltage. So there will be also the V node voltage. So V minus minus V node upon R1 is equal to V node minus V out. It is connected by the V out point. V node minus V out upon R2. Fine. Now, if we will, we will just simple put the value of this V node and solve this equation after solving this equation we are getting the output voltage v out is equal to r2 upon r1 v positive minus v negative what it is indicating this r2 upon r1 is indicating the gain of this difference amplifier what is v plus minus minus v minus that is the difference of the input voltage what was our aim our aim was the same thing i have to calculate the value of the difference of the two input voltage and here is also showing the difference now the next one is the differentiator what is the differentiator differentiator as the name indicate uh, it is used to create the differentiation of the input signal what should be the output output will be equal to the differentiation of the input voltage v in so how can i calculate if only the difference in this differentiator as you are seeing that we are using the capacitor over here instead of input resistance we are replacing it by the capacitor c so what is the purpose of the capacitor capacitor is used to store the charge what is the value of charge what is it is stored q equals to cv we all know about the, this formula q equals to c into v and what is the current flowing this capacitor that ic capacitor equals to c dq upon dt now just put it here the value d upon dt and q we can replace it the c into v then after differentiating the value of the key q with respect to the key we are getting the value c into dv upon dt that is the capacitor current and this capacitor current is equal to the feedback current and 
V out is both will be the V out. V out will be equal to the feedback resistance into the feedback current. So V out is equal to minus I cap into R. I cap I just calculated. What is it? Minus RC into dV upon dt. Done. I cap. What is I cap? I cap minus. I'm just putting over here the value. Minus RC into dV upon dt. As we is showing over here, V out is equal to dV upon dt. dV upon dt differentiation of the input voltage. RC. RC is the simple gain. And what is minus sign indicating? We are applying the input voltage at the inverting terminus. So output and input have the 180 degree phase shift. The differentiator circuit is used to work as a high pass input filter. If someone asks to you, what is the application of the differentiator circuit that is used to work as a high pass filter? Now, next application is the integrator. What is the integrator? As the name again indicates, it is used to produce the integration of the input voltage. V out will be equal to the integration of the input voltage. What is the difference between these two circuits? Only the resistance and absence values have been interchanged over here. Rest of the things are same. Look at here. C and R values interchange. Fine. Again. What is the value of I1? This I1 current will be the I capture current and V out will be equal to the current into capture value. So what is the I1? I1 is equal to V in upon R because this point is connected to the ground. So V in minus 0 upon R is equal to V in upon R. Capture current I1 in the last slide I just told you the I capture. I capture is equal to C dV upon dt. So C is here, D. V, what is V? V is a capsule voltage. So if I am going to calculate this capacitive voltage, what is it? 0 minus V. Fine. Now just putting here the values over here. I am just putting it here. What we are getting? We are just getting the V out is equal to minus 1 upon RC V in integration of DT. Because I have to replace this. I have to replace this V capsule. Capacitor is the differentiation and after this is differentiation for the uh, removing the differentiation I have to integrate. So I'm integrating over here. So V out is equal to minus one upon RC integration of V into DT. Output voltage is integration of the input voltage. So that is completely about the application of the operational amplifier and basic of the operational amplifier. Thank you.